Hey guys, this is Sort of from Take Care and welcome back to our channel. And now today I have got the K6 Power and the Redmi 4 and I will be comparing them. And now few days ago I made the speed test comparison that will be linked uh, somewhere here in this uh, whole uh, display. Anyways, uh, uh, keeping that apart, in the case of speed test, uh, the Vive UI of Lenovo K6 Power outperformed uh, the MIUI of the Redmi 4. Now uh, keeping the fact in mind that both the phones has got almost the same kind of specification. Uh, in some cases according to uh, people who are very much interested in the specifications, the Redmi 4 has got, I mean this baby, this baby has got a better, uh, slightly better uh, CPU uh, than the uh, K6 power. But apart, but bearing that apart, uh, the K6 Power won the game by uh, more than one minute of margin and that's uh, remarkable uh, thanks to the Vive UI. So uh, now uh, today I will be comparing uh, both of them on a basis of their physical appearance, on a basis of how, uh, how the other features are like the display, like the music. So it's a general comparison. And uh, one more thing guys, so for the camera comparison that won't be included in this video, but the camera comparison is gonna come soon. We tried to do that, but uh, then came, uh, then uh, something happened and we were not able to do all the stuff. Anyways, uh, the camera comparison will come very soon. I'm sorry for the delay. So uh, a lot of things has been said already. So now starting with the very first thing that is the aesthetics. Now for both the devices on the top, uh, in case of the uh, Redmi, uh, Redmi 4, we get the 3.5mm headphone jack, the IO blaster and the noise cancellation mic. But for the K6 power, we get the uh, 3.5mm headphone jack and the charging port. On the bottom for the K6 power, we get the single uh, mic. And on the case of the Redmi 4, we get the charging port and the dual speaker grill. Now remember, there is only one speaker grill in the case of uh, one only one speaker in the case of Redmi 4. And uh, now, uh, in the case of uh, on the right, uh, both the phones has got uh, two uh, volume rockers and one power button. And on the uh, left, we get the SIM ejector trays for both the devices. And on the back, we get uh, the 30 megapixel rear camera for both the devices with single tone LED flash and the fingerprint sensor and the Lenovo has, has, has got their two uh, dual studio speakers and that's a great advantage. Now on the front we get the uh, 5 megapixel camera with the sensors that we normally get in there. And now coming to the build quality, now uh, I would say in my personal choice the build quality is far better in the K6. Uh, the, the, this phone is a bit light, uh, around 4 grams this phone weighs around 147 grams and this phone weighs around 151 grams. So uh, somehow this phone weighs 4 grams less but yeah that is uh, lower than this one but in case of the build quality I'll pick this one up over this one any day. Now coming to the next point which is the display. Now the K6 power has got a 1080p display which is great but uh, the uh, Redmi 4 720p display is not very far behind and at times, uh, thanks to the 2.5D curved glass, it looks better than the Lenovo's K6 Power. But if you look, if you look cl too closely, you will definitely feel the difference between both the 1080p displays and yes, the K6 Power. In this case, at least for me, at least for me, it wins the game. Although, uh, in case of the sunlight readability, the Redmi 4 is really pathetic. You will get slightly better performance from the K6 power and that's I'm sh very much sure about. And now one more thing guys, uh, this phone doesn't have any kind of protection. This phone in case of the display has got a certified according to Gorilla Glass protection. But with my usage, I have seen a few scratches that were not, not expected. So whatever phone you buy, buy a good tempered glass or a good screen guard at least for both the devices. It doesn't matter whether it has a, tem a, a, a Gorilla Glass or not, but for this one, I mean the Redmi 4, do go and buy a tempered glass. Now coming to the next point, which is the specification. Now like I said earlier, both of the phones doesn't, you know, there are, there are very minor differences. Like the cases powered is powered by a Snapdragon 430. My version has having a 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage. And this Redmi 4 is powered by a Snapdragon 435, which is an octa-core chipset. Both of them are having octa-core chipset running at 1.4 gigahertz 
Moreover, uh, this phone has got my edition has got 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of onboard storage. So there is not a very big difference in case of the uh, specification. Even the GPUs are exactly same. So guys, uh, now coming to the sound. Now, uh, first of all, let me tell you that although this phone boasts uh, two speaker grills, but there is only one speaker grill, and that is in here. I hope it focuses. My camera focuses. And on the other hand, this phone has got two rear uh, speaker grills and both of them having a, one speaker individually. So it's a mono speaker setup, it's a studio speaker setup. Moreover, this phone has got Dolby Atmos codec inside it. And uh, let me give you a uh, video clip, just to watch this video clip. I have recorded an audio from my Zoom H1 and I will just show you that. So I'm starting with the audio clip taken from the uh, Redmi 4. And now guys, I am sure I am giving you the audio clip that is taken uh, from the 5K6 power. So guys, uh, I hope you have listened to both the audio clips and uh, even in case of the 3.5mm uh, headphone jacks, I mean the headphone output the K6 power is definitely the winner uh, thanks to the uh, Dolby Atmos codec I, I really believe in uh, at this price tag no one beats K6 power in case of multimedia especially audio the dual rear stereo speakers are really great it outperforms the Redmi 4 in a huge margin if you listen to a variety of uh, music genres now guys coming to the next point which is the 4K capability now none of the phones can record at 4K Yes, it is not going to happen with both the devices, but they can play 4K contents in MX player with a SW decoder, but the issue is you won't get 30 FPS. The FPS was too slow, sometimes the video was paused and uh, it was not at all watchable. So uh, 4K playback, forget about it, might be 4K is playable with lower bitrate uh, video clips, but the video clips that I used were of very high quality. So I don't think 4K is gonna run on both the devices. So if you are, if we consume a lot of 4K uh, content, both of the phones are not for you, at least. And now coming to the uh, disk speed. Well, this is a new feature that I've added and in this uh, feature, in this uh, option, I will show you that the disk speed of the Redmi 4 and the K6 Power and you can easily see all both of them. The Redmi 4 is having a better internals. The RAM speed is definitely better than the K6 Power. The memory uh, speed, I mean the internal ROM speed of 32 gigs is obviously better than the K6 Power. So yeah, uh, in case of the internals on specifications at least, Redmi 4 wins. But in the real world, when I did the, you know, the speed test where RAM is a very serious matter, the UI, the 5 UI, it changed everything. This one was the winner, the K6 Power. So although in specifications, the Redmi 4 is the winner, but in real life, at least in case of RAM speed, K6 Power is the winner, guys. Now coming to the very last uh, point, which is the battery backup. There will might be some kind of differences in case of screen on time, but screen on time is not always the main factor to, uh, you know, to define how good the battery backup is. There are a few other pa uh, parameters that I will discuss in a another video in the upcoming future. So I would say that both of the phones has got almost same kind of battery backup but the con is for the Redmi 4. It takes a lot more time to charge from 10% to 100% than this one. This one takes around 1 hour less than this one. This one takes around 3 to 3.5 hours while this one takes 2 to 2.5 hours. So I would say battery backup is almost same but the charging time is definitely less in this case is power. So this is all for today guys and uh, this is not my natural way of uh, comparing both the devices. I hope you like this video. If you don't like it, uh, tell me what I, where I can actually improve. And in the comment section below, I will be voting for you there. And if you really don't like it, vote it down. But if you really love this content, so vote it up. Subscribe to our channel because I will be coming up with the Redmi 4 versus the Redmi 3S Prime comparison alongside with the Redmi Note 4 which I have in here. So it's gonna come up uh, very soon. I don't know when, but within uh, within three to five days, it's gonna come up very soon. 
and yeah camera comparisons are also on its way gaming uh, benchmarks are also on its way for the redmi 4 anyways guys there are a lot of videos are coming in our channel regarding redmi 4 i will be covering the redmi 4 as a whole stay awesome stay subscribed and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in my next video bye bye now